do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human respiration in that we are studying topic types of respiration now respiration can be of two types that is inhalation or inspiration that is taking in of oxygen and another one is expiration removal out of carbon dioxide let's study about them today if we broadly go to study about respiration respiration can be of two different types one is aerobic and another one is anaerobic now when i say about aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen and when i say anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen in higher vertebrates like eukaryotic organisms for example human beings other animals the type of respiration that we observe is aerobic aerobic respiration is further divided into two different parts and this two different parts are co-associated with each other first part is breathing which could be said as external respiration and the next part is internal respiration so why breathing is termed as external respiration during breathing what you do is you inhale air and this air is a mixture of all the gases it has oxygen it has carbon dioxide and you take up this mixture of air through your nostrils inside your respiratory system that's the reason breathing is termed as external respiration so what is this internal respiration now when i talk about internal respiration internal respiration is nothing but the use of oxygen or i can simply say o2 to break down molecules now which are these molecules whenever you all have food the product that's formed is glucose the energy molecule basically simple sugar now this glucose we all know has to be converted into atp or adenosine triphosphate in our body and this is done only in the presence of oxygen which is entirely termed as cellular respiration why it is termed as cellular respiration because this whole process takes place inside a cell and this cell is the mitochondrial cell the powerhouse of our body inside that only glucose is converted into atp using the atpase machinery so basically internal respiration could be said as a physiological process in which energy is generated whereas during the external respiration energy is never generated types of respiration the first type of respiration that every eukaryotic organism whether it is you whether it is donkey horses cats birds will undergo through is your external respiration now when i talk about external respiration we can also say that during external respiration the gas that is taken in will have a mixture of oxygen carbon dioxide if you are present in a pollutant area it will also contain the pollutants it will contain soil dust particles bacteria if they are present around it's a mixture of everything so during external respiration what happens is it's a process by which gases are exchanged between the blood and the air and it's a physical process basically it is the simple intake of o2 and giving out of carbon dioxide or co2 now there is a sentence which says exchange between blood and air what's that 
whenever you intake that mixture of gases it passes down to your respiratory system and then it finally reaches to all those pathways that is your trachea alveoli and then alveoli finally removes out carbon dioxide by carboxylase that is your carboxylase enzyme and co2 is carried with the help of rbcs and hemoglobins to different tissues of the body and that rbc is going to pass through the blood so that's the reason it is said an exchange between air and blood internal respiration the respiration process that takes place inside once oxygen reaches your respiratory tract or once oxygen has been given to the required tissues it is already present inside your blood cell now in this process it is an exchange of o2 or oxygen of the blood and the co2 of the body cells basically the process to remove carbon dioxide or co2 with the help of rbc's enzyme carboxylase or and the removal of o2 now whenever co2 is removed it will be removed in the form of bicarbonates or hco3 format in which your hco3 or bicarbonates once formed will be further broken down into co2 molecules and h plus ions in the presence of an enzyme carbolic anhydrase now carbonic anhydrase will help to remove this further oxygen will be carried out with the help of hemoglobin and rbc through the tissues fluid at cellular level it involves energy production as it is a physiochemical process it takes place with the help of enzymes so students in this part of the chapter we did study about types of respiration i hope you all are very clear about this concept thank you